goalies throughout. Do you think they're a bit flat early tonight? Yeah, gee, we're, we're really flat. There's ten goal, uh, ten uh, inside fifties to zero in the first five minutes of the game. So um, we actually did well to correct that and get ourselves back into the contest. And um, well, the twenty-minute mark of the quarter it was, you know, two goals to one, and um, we're pleased we're at least back in in the contest again. But you know the in the last part of the, the first quarter, they kicked three three quick goals that they gave them the scoreboard ascendancy. Perhaps they deserved in the quarter, given the way that they started. But um, we were we we're, we we're back in the game, and we just couldn't capitalise on the on the opportunities that we had when we went forward. You know, we um, we just lacked a, lacked a bit of polish with the with the ball, and you know that was indicated by our, our scoring shots. I think we kicked seven, twelve, or something something thereabouts, and. Um, you know, from um, sort of similar inside fifties, in the by the by the end of the game, we'd be able to equalise the inside fifties, and um, so there was parts of our game that we we're we we're pleased with, but by and large, they were just more polished than uh, than we were with the with the ball, and um, yeah, that that gave them the scoreboard ascendancy on many occasions. Why do you think? What was contributing to that slow start? We'll, we'll go back there. Like, is there a reason for that? No, no, early. no. But um, yeah, we were we, we felt like we were ready to ready to play and perform, and um, didn't jump out of the blocks as well as we'd like. But that didn't that didn't hurt us. You know, Gold Coast could have capitalised. They might lament the fact that they didn't you know get away to a four or five goal start in that first first five or ten minutes. But um, we got ourselves back into the contest and um, gave ourselves a look at it. You know, it was. You know, seven goals to four at half time. You know, they got a, 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 a easy free kick right on, right on, on half time. Um, and you know, we had the first shot at goal just after after half time to Charlie, and we were unable to convert that chance. Went down the other end, two goal swing. Um, so you know, we just at important times um, where we could have capitalised and got ourselves back into the contest in terms of scoreboard, we just weren't able to take those chances and. Um, and Gold Coast had swept the ball down the other end and get a goal, and uh, just made it made it pretty tough for us. But you know, they're a, um, they're a side that's been playing some pretty good footy without getting wins on the board, and um, they were uh, they were obviously desperate for a win tonight. Um, just played a little bit better than what we did, and um, we know where we're at as a club. We um, tough road. We've, we've been on the road four times out of the first six rounds. Um, that's tough for any side in the competition. So um, we'll get back to Melbourne next week. We've got the Demons, so it doesn't get any easier for us. Um, yeah, they're a high-quality side, but um, MCG, um, big stage. We're looking forward to that contest. But um, great opportunity to play here on Anzac Day and celebrate not just the Australian troops that, that fought for our country, but also the, the alliance we've got with New Zealand. That's why it's obviously called the Anzacs. Um, and great privilege to play. Uh, in this round every every year, and um, you know, Gold Coast did it really well in terms of honouring those those that fought for us many many years ago. So, uh, great privilege to be involved in these games, but um, unfortunately we just um, weren't able to put up the performance we would have liked to to actually really challenge Gold Coast on consistently enough. Clarko, we know what we, we, we um, sort of get from your older guys like your, your Ben Cunningtons and your. Zeebles and Goldie, like, what did you think of your, your sort of your middle and your younger tier players? Tonight? Yeah, well, it's, it's just we just need to consistently give them exposure to play. Like you know, Paulie Curtis had three shots on goal tonight, um, but kicks zero three instead of three zero. Um, so kicks kicks three zero. Yeah, you know, we, we we probably end up kicking eleven goals for the game, ten or eleven goals for the game, and. And we're probably closer into the into the contest now. It's not it's not, it's not his fault. It's just like we, we he just needs to have the composure. You know that last shot he takes the mark. He's five metres out from goal, and you know just rushes rushes his kick. He kicks it within ten seconds when he should take twenty or twenty five seconds to take his shot, and and just nail the opportunity. Just um, they're just young kids that are fine fine on their way, and um, we're. Pleased with the exposure these kids are getting. You know, Tommy Plough played a lot of a lot of game in the midfield tonight. Um, um, Comden, Sheasel, all these, these type of guys, they're just um, they're just finding their way at, at AFL level, and um, yeah, we uh, we're pleased with the way that that's, that some of those kids are, are tracking along. Sheasel got a much harder, uh, tighter opponent tonight in Holman. Important lesson for him. Yeah, yeah, and um, yeah, well, that's that we need to learn as a side, and he needs to learn as a player just how to deal with uh, with a, with a tension like that, and. Um, 
you know, but that's. I was actually credit the kid that he that he got up. He was a bit bashed up after last week's game against Brisbane. He had a cork, his sore thumb, um, got knocked around a little bit, and um, got himself up to play, which is once again just part of his maturity and uh, and, and lessons learnt playing at the top level of, of AFL footy. You know, how do you um, have the have the rigour and the durability to just week after week, um, despite a little bit of hardship, and um, you know even. Um, though his, his preparation was hampered, to get himself up was a credit to him, and um, and then he found another lesson in terms of the attention that he got from uh, from Holman. He didn't have the influence that we'd like him to have, but um, it's a great learning lesson for him as he goes through. How do you weigh up uh, coaching him in that scenario, Clark? He obviously moved him to half forward. He spent a bit of time in the midfield. How do you kind of weigh that up at half time or, or during the second? Yeah, quarter? it's just trying to give him give him exposure to different levels of the ground. We, you know, he'd been so he probably nearly been our best player in the first you know five weeks of the season, um, which is a real credit for a young player to come into the competition and, and do so well. But. Um, we're, uh, we'd be foolish to think that he's going to, just going to stay at halfback for the whole time. In fact, you know, so, somewhere down the track he might be a really valuable forward for us. You know, he plays the game very much like a Jack Gunston, um, clever and smart, good, good decision maker, um, safe with the ball in his hands, and um, you know, just where he ends up playing his his best footy um, in the long run, we're not too sure. But um, you know, the the exposure that he gets to halfback and wing and um, half forward, on, a little bit on ball tonight, um, is really valuable for him. What do you see as being the focus in the next week? You had this really terrific first month and then I would imagine you've been down the last two weeks on your expectations. Like, what's, What would be the focus in the next week? Yeah, well, just to regroup and get back to Melbourne, really. As I said, we've been on the road a, a, a lot um, in, the, in the last little while and um, we give ourselves a play at the MCG, so it's not too hard to get yourself motivated for a game like that. Good opponent. Um, and, um, and, you know, it's a, it, it's a hard road, but we knew it was going to be a hard road, and it's, it's just actually continuing to put in place the things that we need to put in place. And some of that's just uh, little wins, more exposure for, for players playing in different positions and, um, and looking for the little things. And we know the win-loss column probably isn't going to be as favourable as we'd like. Um, but that's the that's the journey that we're on, and uh, we've got plenty of little things that are happening in games. Whether it's just winning quarters or winning contests or giving exposure to some of these younger players, um, we'll just keep working on that uh, on that process. And um, we we just know over time that um, that somewhere it's going to click, and we'll just have a bit more polish with the footy, a bit more. You know, our chains will be longer. We'll retain possession of the footy more. We'll make the most of our opportunities when we go inside 50. Um, we'll start connecting inside 50 better and give ourselves more measured shots at goal. You know, we had, I think we had, you know, which is a reflection of the game. They have 20 inside 50 marks. I think we have six. Um, th therein tells the story of why they were able to kick accurately and we're able, we're, we kicked inaccurately because we did, a lot of them were rush shots. So um, that just comes with, with composure and Gold Coast have been at it for a fair while and they're just to be a little bit more polished and composed for that area of the game than we are as a list at the present time. Ben King got a bit of a roll on there in the first half. Are you happy with how you defended him or your thoughts around the package? Uh, well, some, some of us, like, he's a good player and if he gets supply, um, you know, as, um, he, he, he thought, would have thought he was in for a field day when the 10 inside 50s in the first five or six minutes of the game. So. Um, we were able to arrest that su that supply, um, particularly in the in the second half. I think um, I think we might have won inside fifties in the second half. But um, you know, if, for as long as he's going to get supply, like he got in, the, I think he kicked four first half goals. Um, so you know, if they get the supply to to he and uh, Charles and those guys down there, they're gonna they're gonna get opportunities to score. Okay. Good on you, guys. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.